So yesterday we were talking to Buck, and he raves about you. And you know, one of his goals is to try and get you more at bats, even thinking throwing you over there for a space because of your versatility. What is that like to gain the confidence of a new manager that first year and, and coming to spring training, not having to prove yourself and knowing that you have the manager's confidence already? You know, it's, it's, it's always great to have a manager that trusts you. You know, it's, it's great to feel appreciated for what you do, even, you know, when it is what I do is just come in every other day, play different positions whenever it's needed. And, you know, I mean, to me, I just kind of embrace that role right now. I mean, you say there's none to prove, but I think there's always something to prove every year. There's some that you always have to show out there and do extra just to, you know, stay here. It's interesting because, like, he, he, he acknowledged your role, and he says he doesn't like the term, but he calls you his irregular regular, meaning that you're going to get those at-bats because you're so versatile. What's the mindset coming to the stadium every day not knowing what position you're going to play and making those adjustments. I mean, to me, in the infield, it's all the same. You know, it's just the only thing that changes is the angles of your throw from whatever position. So to me, like I said, I walk into the stadium expecting to play. Wherever it is, it don't matter. I'll just be ready to go. The other thing about you, and it, it, it seems to permeate the entire team, there's a joy to the way you go about playing the game. You're always smiling. You're always involved. You're always engaged. Was that something that came natural to you, or did you learn that in an early age? I think it's just been the way I am. You know, I'm, I'm a guy that I can't just sit out there for nine innings, just be quiet and, and be serious the whole time. You know, there, there's times to be serious, but if I'm serious all the time, if I stay mad about something, it's just it's just not the way I play. I can't do it. There's, I'm always gonna be talking to the guys. I'm always gonna be joking around. If I get mad, I'm gonna get mad for my five seconds and just let it be, and then just go back to business. You know, the owner the other day said, since he's been here, the vibe here is the best it's ever been. He says there's just something you know, that he feels about this group. And granted, it's a limited sample size, but being around this group, it seems like everyone's just checked their ego at the door and everyone's bought into a team concept. What's your feel? You know, you've been here, different clubhouses. What's your you read so far? I just think is everybody know they know what they're here for. Everybody gets along with each other. Everybody knows their job. You know, you are who you are, but everybody just embraces it. You know, everybody likes each other, and we just like I say we go about our business and just do what we got to do. Also, guys have gone out of their way to say how helpful you are to them. You know, guys like Barry, Danny Mendick, who is a guy very similar to you. Um, who in some respects is competing against you, but yet he says that you've been great and, and you know, it's not really a competition. When, in spring training, when you're going through your head, do you play those games looking around and say, oh, that guy does the same position as I do, I got to do this? I, mean, I don't think so, no, because at the end of the day, I can only control what I do. I can't control what other players do. I can't control what the manager, the coaches, or the front office wants to do. All I can do is just worry about myself, worry about the team, and then just go out there and do my business, like I said. And lastly, you know, so many people have debated this, the new pitch clock, the new bases. Who does it, you know, whose advantage is it for you as a batter? Does it matter to you? I mean, I think it's going to be something that everybody's going to get adjusted to. I think we will see who it benefits more or less because I think right now from what I've heard, which like I said, we're still trying to learn every single thing, it might help some pitchers a little bit where they can play around with our timing and making us wait a little longer in the box or whatever, but we won't see it till it's put in place and we actually, I think Saturday we'll probably do it. So we can talk about that after again, but like right now, it's just more of a, let's try to figure out what the exact rules are, how it's going to play and go about it.